This is an sqlsummit.com presentation. For more audio and video programs, visit gridsummit.com, webservicessummit.com, and sqlsummit.com. We'll talk about three specific areas, the Microsoft Entity Data Model, the ADO.NET Entity Framework, and ADO.NET Data Services. So the problem facing us um, really boiled down to the fact that programming data is still hard. And this was hard for me to admit because I've been at Microsoft working on data access for almost 20 years. Um, Ken and I go way back from the early ODBC days, so I've worked on ODBC and on the LadyB and ADO and ADO.net and RDO and DAO and a number of other things in between. And what we've made tremendous advances and we've enabled things that could never be done before in terms of having shrink wrap applications work with database drivers that they weren't designed with any knowledge of. It's still hard. Why is it hard? Why is it hard to write applications that work with data? Well, the first is that writing queries using ADO or ADO.net or JDBC or any of these other APIs is difficult because although you have a nice API for interacting with the database, your queries are typically strings. And when your queries are strings, you get no type, no help from the compiler. There's no type checking, there's no validation. You type something wrong or spell something wrong, or even if your syntax is correct but you misspelled the name, you don't know that until you actually compile the application. But even at compile time, you don't know it. You execute the application, and it seems to run fine until it gets to your command, and then you get some weird message, and you go trace through and figure out, oh, I use um, L name rather than last name, or whatever you type wrong. Um, the results that you get back from a database are basically rectangular records. They're not, um, they, they don't feel like the rest of the application. They're not strongly typed. They're not objects. They don't have business logic. The database schemas that you are uh, querying against, that you're writing or querying the application against, are optimized for storage concerns. So the whole relational model is all about storage concerns. How can you normalize your data to guarantee consistency? Um, how can you partition that data and denormalize and renormalize it as a DBA in order to provide better performance, better um, scalability, better units for maintenance and backup and so forth? All of those considerations go into designing a database schema, not what would the application like to work with. Um, and then finally, uh, although ODBC, OADB, and ADO, and JBO, and JBDC, and all of these have provided a nice API for talking to the database, ultimately the way that you express your uh, query to the database is through syntax that varies greatly from one database to another. So as we all know, although SQL, there is a standard SQL language, if you're trying to do anything other than select star from customers, it's unlikely to work exactly the same across two different databases. Um, even then, depending on how you're qualifying tables with the schema and the database and so forth, you may have problems. So these are all problems facing us today when we're trying to access and work with data in the database. 